you're still young, Kathy. You have your whole life before you. It's all roses now. It's not too bad. It's all roses now, but how long before you you sit alone and reject it, taking refuge in your fifth of gin? Sit down, Fred. I'm getting all worn out just watching you. I didn't come here to sit. Maybe you'd like to uh, stretch out. Well, I'm stretched out right now, vertically. Do you know where all this is going to lead? You're going to end up in some dingy third-rate hotel room trying to squeeze some comfort out of a bottle. Now, please, Kathy, there's still time. Pack your things and get out of this place. Oh, why? I'm comfortable. The apartment is lovely. And the boys are all aces. Facts are facts, Kathy. Without a home and family, what is Brad. life? <laughs> Did anyone ever tell you that you talk too much? It's all roses now, Kathy. Mm. Isn't it? I came here to keep you from this. And from this? Yes. And this. Uh, Anything else you want to keep me from? Yes. This. Fred. Hmm? Do you believe in fair employment practices? You have to know this minute. Please. Do you? Oh, yes, I do. Then I do, too. You and I shouldn't be doing this now, Fred. That's true. It is Sunday. Yeah, me too. Everybody deserves a day off. I wasn't even supposed to move in until tomorrow. But, but, Kathy... You do want to be fair, don't you, Fred? Fair? Oh, sure. Sure, yes. Well, I only came over today because... You understand, don't you, Kathy? I certainly do. It was nice of you to give up your Sunday. <laughs> Will I see you tomorrow? No. George is tomorrow. Tuesday? Tuesday is Doug. Which is your day, Fred? Mine? I don't have a day. <laughs> Which day don't you have? Thursday. That's nice. Thursday will be here before you know it. <laughs> And after Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. <laughs>